All right, it's May 30th, Memorial Day, and today I'm gonna, I'm not gonna talk about learning. I'm gonna talk about something else. The disparity between the front and the back of the house. Now, I'm not saying that uh, the front of the house gets paid too much, but I've worked in uh, quite a few restaurants where you hear the server the servers come to the kitchen at the end of the night and complain about how little they made being like two hundred dollars or something and they complain about it and they worked for like seven eight hours and then they go to the kitchen and they're complaining to the people who are making about one hundred dollars total Whereas the servers are making minimum wage plus the 200 or whatever. And <clears throat> if you think about how uh, a restaurant functions in general, you, normally you aim for, as an owner, you aim for, let's say, 30% food cost, 30% labor cost, 30%. So at the end of the day, you make 10% profit margins. And that 10% is with all of the risk and all the like everything that comes with being an owner which is like your startup capital having to know enough knowledge about things being the first person that gets called when something goes wrong uh, it's the whole thing of being an owner and you get 10 percent and then servers they just get to swoop in and let's say you have two two servers for a night they get to split 20% off of the top. So <clears throat> they make essentially 10% each if they split it right down the middle. So they come, they would come in for let's say six to eight hours and then they get, they make the same amount of money as a owner would, which is, and I know it's different for every type of restaurant and all that stuff but it like yeah I mean if you if you own the massive restaurant that had like 50 employees or whatever then proportionally that means you probably invested multiples more than a small restaurant and there would be more servers so you would get diluted more ways but you would still get a let's say there's five servers instead of two then you would get four percent each but that's 4% of uh, increased volume of sales. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, servers work very little. They, they work like full time or less. And cooks, in general, they work like 8 to 12 hours. And I think... If, if you had never served before and you're just a kitchen person like I used to be, um, <clears throat> when the servers would come back and complain like, oh, my, my job was so hard and all that stuff, then because you didn't actually know what they did in the front, you could be like, yeah, yeah, they have to deal with customers and yeah, it's hard and because they say it's hard, but then that's it if you take their word for it. But if you actually have done both jobs, you know for a fact that serving is a lot easier physically than cooking. It's hot, it's heavy, it's all that stuff in the kitchen. The only thing you don't have to deal with in the kitchen is customers, shitty customers. So I guess that's a benefit of it. And But yeah, that's, um, that's basically the, the differences between the work and the pay of the front and the back of the house. But like, uh, I guess that's a fundamental problem with the tipping culture too, is <clears throat> you, yeah, it's like to, to redo the whole system of how the US thinks about tips. If we became another, uh, similar to another country where uh, everyone just got paid for the job that they do, like servers got paid to serve from the owner and then uh, 
cooks got paid from the owner and it was just reflected through the bottom line like you wouldn't pay an extra 20 percent to tip it would just be baked into the base cost of the menu if that was the case <clears throat> i think servers would get treated better because the customers know that uh the customers know that they don't have any power over the server so the servers can kind of demand better attitudes from the customers but also i think uh servers would get paid less they would probably get paid equal to or slightly above a kitchen worker i would i would think because uh the value of a person working should be relatively close to each other because they're the jobs aren't that different i mean they are different but they're not you're not a rocket science versus a line cook it it's they're within the same difficulty level so they should be within the same pay range as each other but if if uh individual restaurants try to implement like uh they just inflate their prices and they say no tipping <clears throat> like let's say i did that at my restaurant and i just increased everything by 20 percent, and it was the cost was baked into it and we specifically told people don't tip it's it's included yep that's a big problem that i've i've realized about people who make reservations or look online or anything at all they can't read they cannot read you can write something in bold they either can't read or they will try to abuse your restaurant by claiming that oh you didn't make it big enough or oh you i don't understand it and whatever so <clears throat> And then like you can write it on your menu very blatantly like if you put it in 72 font gratuity is included then yes people would get it but then there's the problem is online on google if somebody googled your restaurant and looked up your menu it probably wouldn't say gratuity is included uh when they look at their men your menu price because they're probably flipping through the the food pages they're not looking at the heading at the top and it, it's too much to ask people to read thoroughly even if you write read thoroughly so yeah so if we increase the prices kind uh customers would think like wow this place is really really expensive and then like anything less than a perfect understanding of your menu would lead to you losing potential customers because they think like, oh, this place is too expensive. It's it's about 20% more expensive than what I would normally pay or something like that. And that's the thing is there's all, it's always going to be what does the greater population of restaurants do as compared to the minority. And I, it it's kind of like everyone has to change or the gravity of the way things are are always gonna pull things back like this is normal and i guess that applies to like restaurants too with like uh oh this is how much a cook should get paid this is how much you're supposed to tip like all these normal functions of a restaurant are ingrained in the way everyone thinks like <clears throat> and like let's say line cooks should make minimum wage it, it's been that way for so long that like in hawaii for the last from uh, 11 years ago up until seven years ago that was the period that i was a line cook my pay rate was minimum wage up to 15 dollars an hour if you if i worked at a hotel other or in a place that had no parking and you had to pay for parking so in reality my pay was probably minimum wage up to 13 dollars an hour if you can like you take out the parking and all that stuff and 
that was considered normal and that's what that's one of the things where i'm trying to fix is uh low pay for cooks because i used to be one and i know how hard it is all right 10 minutes